takes about 3 hours to drive from bustling Hyderabad to Budhavanam. 3 hours and a world away. To a place that hopes to spread the message of peace. This is Budhavanam, a Buddhist heritage theme park on the banks of the river Krishna at Nagarjun Sagar. The park is spread out over 274 acres, close to the waters of the Nagarjuna Sagar Dam in Nalgonda district of Telangana. It has been developed by the Telangana Tourism Development Corporation. Work on the project began around 20 years ago. There was a slowdown in between, but then it picked up pace again. This is a very important place. When I, we went to the, this place, I very much impressed this place should be developed. As I mean. then when these uh, stopped this works, I uh, really I got a very uh, depressed. I think uh, this place is a very historical place. Oh, Nagarjuna was a Buddhist, second Buddha. He preached there. Because that's why the area is very ancient area, first thing. Second thing is, this is the gateway of Buddhism to enter into South Asia. The third thing is, the Nagarjuna established a Mahayana. This place is very uh, gate of to Sri Lanka, to Buddhism is uh, inter interacting this place, the, uh, this. that's why uh, in uh, United Andhra Pradesh, the Tourism Development Corporation thought that this place should be developed on modern theme park. Yes. It should be, it should be remember of Nagarjuna and it's, it should be established one uh, Amaravati Stupa, this is a replica of Amaravati Stupa. Buddhism has a long history in the Telangana region. It is believed that Buddha's followers made their way to the area during the lifetime of the Buddha. And there are several ancient Buddhist sites across the state. It is believed that a sage called Bavari settled in an island in the Godavari River during the lifetime of the Buddha. Bavari sent 16 of his disciples to listen to the teachings of the Buddha and they became his followers. One of them, Pingya returned and brought back Buddha's teachings to Telangana. Buddhavanam is an attempt to spread more knowledge about this history. The park hopes to attract tourists visiting the Nagarjuna Saga Dam, which is a very popular tourist spot. One of the many beautiful Buddha images that you see across Buddhavana here at Nagarjuna Saga. Now, this garden has been the dream of many and one person who has been very very involved over the years dr e shivanagi reddy it has been a long time in the making when did the idea of budhavadam first come ma'am the idea of uh, bringing out uh, such a buddhist heritage theme park unique in entire indian context began in 2004 buddhist tourists or general tourists who visit nagarjuna sagar can uh, extend their stay, have a new experience and understand what Buddhist culture is. Most of the people don't know that Buddhism reached this part of the country that is Telangana during the lifetime of the Buddha. It is our great privilege and pride that His Holiness the Dalai Lama visited this part for four times. But uh, during Kalachakra, Mahasammelan, which uh, was organized by His Holiness the Dalai Lama, en route to uh, the Venu, Dhanya Kataka Amaravati. His Holiness has come over here, landed on the Buddhavanam site, and planted the sapling of the Bodhi tree, which is uh, which was uh, brought from uh, Mahabodhi, that is uh, Mahabodhi temple, that is Bodhgaya.
The park is designed to give visitors an understanding of the life of Gautama Buddha as they walk through its calm spaces. They start their journey here at the entrance plaza, arranged around an octagonal column carrying the Dharma Chakra. Each spoke of the chakra represents a different value. This section of the park depicts different events in the life of Gautama Buddha. The events are depicted with the use of statues, all in this green and serene environment. There are images representing his birth as Siddhartha, his leaving home, his enlightenment, his first sermon, and also the extinction of the Buddha. This collection of statues depicts his first discourse. The Bodhisattva Path talks about the different earlier births of Gautama Buddha before he attained enlightenment, what we know as the Jataka tale. Each story talks of different important values like patience, courage and loving kindness. There are different qualities that the Buddha had to achieve before being born as Siddhartha. These are Dana, generosity, Shila, virtue, Kshanti, patience, Virya, courage, Dhyana, concentration, Pragna, wisdom, Tyaga, renunciation, Satya, truth, Karuna, loving kindness, and Samatha, equanimity. Some of the stories depicting how the Buddha achieved these qualities are depicted in this part of the park in 40 different murals. An army of sculptors have worked for years on this project. I am working this project in past 18 years. My part is the total sculptures. Uh, we studied uh, uh, our ancient Indian sculpture art, based, uh, three phases is there, madam. One is uh, Gandhara, one is Madhura, one is Amravati. Be based on these three sculptural school of arts, we, uh, I'm uh, arts uh, team of artists, we uh, developed uh, drawings based on that sculptures. And that uh, based on that sculpture uh, drawings, uh, we uh, supply to our uh, sculptural agency. Sculpture work originally started in 2012. From 2012 to 2018, almost six years from the beginning of main Maha entrance plaza and Buddha Sirtavanam, Jataka Park. Total, that project is complete sculptures project based on our ancient Buddhist art. And I am 100% happy with our sculptural legacy is gone from last to 1700 years. After 1700 years, we uh, researched and uh, uh, developed that uh, entire project uh, we did uh, uh, from the support of our team of Buddhavanam. Buddhism spread from India to other countries in the region. And this has been reflected in the park, which aims to appeal to international visitors as well as domestic tourists looking to learn more about the Buddha. This replica of the 5th century Avakuna Buddha is a gift from Sri Lanka. They have really donated replica of Avakuna Buddha 27 feet in height, datable to uh, 7th, 8th century CD, which is in Sri Lanka, that we have here, copy of it, and Sri Lanka. Most of the Sri Lankan people visiting Bodh Gaya, Sanchi, Sarnath are also visiting That's Buddha. Fine. India's island neighbour has also donated a replica of the Dhamma Bell under the Indo-Sri Lankan Cultural Exchange Programme. This area is planned 
as a meditation park. They are very uh, excited. They don't have money, but we, we ask them, no money. We, we are asking Sri Lanka people, you, you have to uh, provide your expertise, your thinking, your uh, knowledge of these, developing these things. Then they agreed. The international spread of Buddhism is also reflected here in the Stupavanam. This part of Buddhavanam is called Stupavanam and is a collection of replicas of stupas from famous Buddhist sites in India, in South Asia and from Southeast Asia as well. Sri Lanka is there, Taiwan people are coming, Tarot, Indonesia are coming. Uh, uh, tomorrow, Mongolian ambassador is coming okay. All right. to see the place. Wonderful. Mongolian uh, uh, ambassador. Yeah. Then uh, after 10 days, 15 days, Indonesia, Thailand people are coming. So it's an yeah. international attraction for yeah. Buddhists from yeah. other countries um, as well. We are thinking to mobilize international. Totally, we should found this place as an international Buddhist place. Our final stop in the park is the Mahastupa. My favorite part is the project uh, Mahastupa. Mahastupa is a wonder of Buddhavana, the core area of Buddhavana. That uh, uh, three levels is there, ground level and uh, Vedika level, uh, drum portion and upper level uh, dome portion. That uh, intricate sculptures we erected on that uh, areas from the uh, Buddha birth to uh, complete Buddha Mahaparnirvana and uh, revival of Buddhism. The Mahastupa can be seen from all over Buddhavanam. The dome is 21 meters high and inside it is decorated with lotus petals against a sky background and as you enter it's quite spectacular. <music> It was quite a challenge creating the effect of the sky inside the dome. It was done with the help of 21st century technology and using sound absorbing material to avoid distracting echoes. When we received this project, like there was a lot of bad power involved from production to designers to engineers and to installers as well. We did a three kind of a ceiling in this dome. One is the sky, it's within the dome. What is the sky, sky ceiling, then uh, the second is petals, petal shapes, and the third is uh, claddings that you see in the column that is almost matching the uh, concrete finish. Mm -hmm. So when we receive the design, nobody has an idea like how we are going to hang, hang these ceilings at the height of uh, 21 meters. But uh, the designers and the engineers uh, came out with the uh, uh, samples, then we did mock-ups, then uh, Finally, we did this mock-up at the site. When we got approval, then we got went for a mass production. We have to create a, a trapezoidal kind of a panels, which are installed in such a radial pattern that there should not be a gap or edges left at the last panels. Adapt to the shape of the dome. The second challenge was uh, the cloud printing. I mean, luckily, we have a, a LED UV printing with us, so we did uh, the printing on those panels. These are aluminum panels, 2 mm thick, with the perforation. Perforation is the requirement of this site because there was an echo. When you visit the site, before installation, there was an echo. Now, with the, with, the, with the holes in the ceilings, there's a noise absorption material which absorbs the noises. The second was like we did petals. It is 1.2 meter height. 
and it is in curve shape. So installation challenge was like to, we have to be uh, uh, accurate with the length and with the width to get into this curvature feature. At night, the lit up Mahastupa looks spectacular. Here is a bird's eye view of this new landmark near the Nagarjuna Sagar Dam. There are plans to establish monasteries, meditation centers, a museum, and universities connected with Budhavanam in the days to come. To revive Buddhism, in a region where it has such a long history. Now we finished five segments. In the Buddha Charitavanam, Jataka Park, then Aukana Buddha, Stupa Park and Mahastupa. Yes. Now we thought that the, uh, we have to develop some monasteries in the, from different countries. The second thing is the one university of Buddhism in, the, in this place. Then uh, we thought that we have to develop one another park, Buddhism journey of 2500 years. From Buddha to uh, nowadays. Like, like a museum. Uh, like, like museum, like park. We can in incorporate all those things. Yeah. Now, now we are on the uh, thinking, not yet decided how we develop. Now we, how we develop, we don't know. But so you're still we are, planning how we are it planning. Will be. We are already constituted a committee uh, with historians, sculptors, yes. and archaeologists, and museum experts. One Bante Sangapala, he told uh, on Buddha Jayanti, now we have a four important uh, places for Buddhism. Buddha, where birth is Alumbini, yes. he got an enlightenment in uh, Bodh Gaya. Yes. Tarata, he gave a first ceremony in Sarnath. Then he. he he, gave, 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 get, he got a Parinirvana in Kushinagara or Kushinara. Then he told this is the fifth place. Oh, wonderful. This is the fifth place going to be an important wow. place of the Buddhism. That is a big compliment. A big compliment. That's why this place, I think, very uh, rich future. There is no doubt that the project has been a labor of love for those who believe in it deeply. Then first, I am a student of Buddha, basically. I, I want to learn more from Buddha from so many years. I am studying, reading, I don't, still now I don't have any clear picture, but I am still studying. Whoever uh, uh, go to there, whoever uh, visit the place, I think is very peaceful. Certainly two sides river, the green, I told so many people, in uh, winter and the rainy season, we will find only two colors. One is green, another is blue. If I have a opportunity to stay there, I will be stay there only. It's a very wonderful place and very peaceful and serenity. The history of Buddhism in the Telangana area goes back centuries. And the hope is that this place, Buddhavana, will increase the interest in that history and in Buddhism itself in the years to come.